you've uh, joined us again at Lake Heron and we're surrounded by beauty here. There's hills, mountains, glorious grasslands and Lorraine Cook who is a flora ranger here at uh, Dock and she's going to tell us about some of the plants in Lake Heron and how they affect the water quality. Hi Lorraine. Hi Paul. Um, so we're standing here in front of this plant and its name is Carrick Sector and this is a really useful plant. Um, I think it's a really cool plant. This is one of the few plants around here that, uh, that can grow right out in the middle of the water. And this plant loves to get its feet wet and so do I, so I don't mind. <laughs> um, this plant, it's a classic wetland plant. It's got qualities that are typical of lots of other wetland plants. What it does is it has this big root system that spreads out and with all the other wetland plants it soaks up all the nutrients coming into the wetland like a sponge and so it filters um, what nutrients are going into the wetland and it also soaks up all the water during the, during the wetter times so that during the drier times uh, it lets water slowly out into the wetland so it keeps it constantly wet. And that water that's going out has a much higher quality than the water coming in because of this purifying and sedimenting effect. Yeah, that's right. And then uh, with this particular plant, with all those nutrients it's taking up, it's growing really fast and really big. This plant can grow up to 100 years old and um, it produces all these leaves that you can see and they hang down into the water. And when they um, finally drop off into the water and rot, um, they're the nutrients in the leaves go back into the water and then are a food source for um, invertebrates and the invertebrates are then a food source for the, for the fish and the birds so it's a really important part of the food chain. Sure, so really, really well adapted. Not only does it clean the water but it also provides food for the species that live around the water. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And you can see all these, um, these funny bits on the plant here. These are the seed heads. And it produces tons of these every year so that it can spread out and quickly colonise new areas that become available. Okay, and there's certainly a lot of it around up here. <laughs> yeah. 